The newsletter element displays a newsletter signup for MailChimp or Campaign Monitor. Of course, you first need to set their API keys. Go to Settings, External Services, and add your API key. For example, let's add an API key for MailChimp. Now let's go back to the element And now you can select the newsletter you want your users to subscribe to. In my case, it's a company newsletter. Here you can also use the double opt-in and define what happens after the submit. You can either show the users a message that you can type in right here or redirect the site to a specific link. Now let's take a look at the newsletter element settings. First, you can choose whether the form fields are stacked or positioned next to each other. Additionally, if the layout stacks, as in my case, you can make the button take the full width. In addition to the email address, the newsletter form can also collect the first and last names. There is also an additional layout where the name fields are shown side by side while the email address and button stack. In this case, the button can have an extra top margin. You can also set the gap between the form fields as well as their size. The newsletter element comes in a default and a blank style. And finally, you can select whether you want to show a button or a clickable icon inside the email input. You can select an icon from the icon library. There are also other options for the button style. These are described in the button element documentation.